This week we are making three different baby shower pull apart cupcake cakes. My name is Lori and you are watching Nice Thing Artist. To get started, you are going to need a lot of cupcakes. At least I'm gonna need a lot of cupcakes because apparently I decided to make three cakes this week. First up, we're gonna do a baby onesie. To do this, I need 16 cupcakes. I'm gonna put two on the bottom and then three rows, no, no, four rows of three cupcakes and then two on the side for the sleeves. I'm gonna stick them down with some buttercream icing because if you have to drive with this cake or go to deliver this cake somewhere, they're going to go sliding all over the place. For the theme, I thought it would be so adorable to make it like a baby girl princess theme. So I'm going to just scoop out my pink buttercream icing with an ice cream scoop and then scoop that onto all of my cupcakes. I was looking up so many different onesies when I was designing this cake. Why are baby's clothes so cute? They're so tiny. I used an ice cream scoop so that way I got an even amount on all of the cupcakes, but now we have to blend them together so it looks like a cake instead of cupcakes. But naturally, some of that icing is gonna spill over the edges and make it look super sloppy. So I'm just gonna take that offset spatula again and go over all of the edges to make them nice and square. If you have not subscribed to this channel, please hit that subscribe button down below. Join the icing family and come hang out every week with me. Hit the top of that cake one more time and it is okay that it is not perfectly smooth because I'm just gonna take a napkin and rub that over the top of my cake and peel it off. I use a crusting buttercream so that way when you rub it with a piece of paper towel or a napkin, you peel it off, it makes it super smooth. Now I'm gonna freehand doing a crown onto the cake, but I wanted to mark out an arch. So I just used a piece of paper that I cut and just impressed that. Why have I not been using this technique all of these years? I'm always constantly like going through my drawers trying to find something that I can use on the cake to mark out roughly what I'm trying to make. Piece of paper is my new best friend. Then I just freehanded a little tiara or crown or whatever right on top of that. And for a little pizzazz, cause you know, all crowns have to have a little bit of jewels. and just blended each section individually and kind of slightly blended it up without blending too much so that way they don't blend together. I just said blend like 10 times. Again, just use my napkin to rub that over the entire cake and peel that off so it's nice and smooth. And it's okay if you've blended some of those colors slightly together, but you can cover all of that up by just outlining the collar of the bottle. Now by itself, this bottle is kind of boring, but we don't make boring cakes here. So instead, I'm going to pipe on a giraffe. Keep them with that whole yellow green theme. I'm gonna start off by piping a really big oval for its head, 
and then draw a really big long kind of neck, I don't know what else kind of shape to call it, except a giraffe neck, going from the oval down to the bottom of the bottle. Now before I pipe on any of the other details, I'm gonna smooth that out first with a napkin. Once that's done, I'm gonna add its ears on all of its giraffe spots, which giraffe spots are very weird shape. They're not triangles or rectangles or squares, they're like blotches. Next, I'm gonna pipe on its ossicones, which everybody in here challenged me saying that they were horns. They are not horns, they are ossicones. We don't just make cakes here, it's also learning. Moving on, I also piped on its smile and its eyes. how cute that giraffe is? That was free-handed. If I can do it, you can do it. Trust me. Feeling more confident going into the third cake. So this one, we're gonna do a baby carriage. And since we already did a girl theme and gender neutral theme, I thought we would do a baby boy theme. You are going to need 17 cupcakes. On the bottom row, I can use four and then five and then three and then two. I can use one for the handle and then two for the wheels. We're gonna take the wheels off for now and then do those afterwards. This one, I'm gonna scoop the entire cake in a light blue buttercream and then just the handle in brown. I noticed that the using a scoop is the easiest way to get the icing onto the cupcakes. But unfortunately, I only had one ice cream scoop. So between shots, I was sitting there washing my ice cream scoop and quickly coming back and scooping the next color before my icing crusted. It was quite the production. Once I smoothed out all the buttercream, I realized one solid cupcake was kind of a weird shape for a handle. So we're just gonna ignore the shape and pretend that it looks good. I tried to reshape it a little bit with my spatula, kind of taking icing off of one side, adding it to the other, and it looks a bit better. Now for the wheels, instead of scooping with my icing scoop, I'm just going to pipe those on so I can control the icing a little bit more and then flatten those out with a napkin. I'm just gonna use a ruler to mark out a straight line to kind of divide the top and bottom of the stroller and then just pipe on those kind of like folding lines that you have, you know how they like go down and come back up? We're gonna create those lines using my brown buttercream. And while I was at it, I just outlined my handle. Now for the theme of this one, I thought we would do Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. That was the theme of my sister-in-law's baby shower and it was so cute. That also makes this theme really easy for this cake. So I'm just gonna pipe on a little half moon using my yellow buttercream icing. I piped on really poofy looking clouds using my white buttercream and then little baby stars kind of scattered all over the place using my yellow. And to finish it off, I outlined the wheels using my brown buttercream and just gave them some spokes. Guys, this was so much fun. I love challenging myself to both make three different cupcake cakes as well as cupcake cakes. We've never done that before on this channel. If you guys would like to see more of these, make sure to comment down below and like this video so I know you guys wanna see more stuff like this. And don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else in the cake or cupcakes or wherever I happen to be making today. Bye guys.